Hello there, welcome to this video podcast in which I'm going to share with you one of the most frustrating online experiences that I have on a regular basis, which is to use Birmingham City Council's website to try and understand what's happening in my area of the city and particularly to understand what's happening in my district committee. I was going to write a blog rant about this but then thought maybe it would be more effective if I shared the experience with you. Uh, and people can see up first hand what the difficulties are. Birmingham's district committee is an important plank of the city's governance structure and designed to become more important as part of an ongoing commitment to devolution, uh, basically ensuring that decisions are taken at the most local level whenever appropriate. There are 12 district committees in Birmingham they're co-terminus with parliamentary constituencies so my district committee is Hall Green and that district committee is made up of the 12 councillors who represent the wards local authority wards in Hall Green constituency so my ward is Sparkbrook and the three Sparkbrook councillors sit on the district committee the district committee already um, manages some important budgets it uh, manages budgets to do with leisure services libraries youth services and so on. It also receives reports on the council about um, citywide services and their impact on the local community. And it also has a small development fund that it can use to either buy extra services or pump prime uh, community activity, that kind of thing. So um, they are quite important to, to local people. And so from time to time, I'm encouraged to take a greater interest in it by my councillors and to try and find out what's going on. And this is where the problems start. So let's, uh, let's, let's have a look here. So this is the City Council's uh, web page, home page, much improved over recent years if you are a regular visitor. So I want to find out about my district committee. So there's a few sections here, Council and Democracy, there's nothing there that says district committee, but I imagine it is in that section so let's click that here we go here it comes and here we have a list of different services um, applying for jobs consultation engagement elections and voting uh, local information district information so we'll click on that here we come oh there's a very busy page here which tells us about Birmingham's districts uh, some of the powers they have, um, some of the areas they operate in and so on. Um, there's a map here that shows you the boundaries of the 12 districts. Uh, so I'm going to just click here, Hall Green, which is mine. And I get the Birmingham uh, .gov.uk Hall Green page. Now this I imagine to be a portal which will present to me all the important information I need to know about the whole green district so you can see as I scroll down here there's a lot of information here um, but it's very static there's nothing newsworthy or new now I'm kind of expecting that very prominently displayed here will be the date of the next meeting um, perhaps a little bit about the ongoing work of the district committee uh, perhaps some news items and so on but to be fair, that all involves time, energy and money. And uh, these are difficult times, as we all know, for local government. However, I would expect to see uh, some simple technological tricks used um, to help present ourselves with this kind of information. So uh, I would expect to see an RSS feed, which is, uh, as computer savvy people know, a simple way of me subscribing to an information source which means that my computer will automatically check that in the background um, which means I don't have to keep coming back to this website to see what's going on. Um, now there's no RSS feed here and particularly on my browser this little uh, button here would uh, uh, show me if there was an RSS feed for the whole green page and there isn't. So um, there's no uh, RSS technology going on here. Um, a maybe simpler way of doing it would be to allow me to subscribe to an emailing list or something where I could receive regular updates about meetings and what's going on and so on, maybe consultations that are underway. Um, but that isn't here either. So um, 
there's no easy way for me to uh, sign up to an information stream uh, to do with the whole Green District Committee, which kind of surprises me, really, in 2014. So let's see if we can find out a little bit more. Now, I have spotted here a news events website. Find out what's going on in Hall Green uh, and across the city. So if I click on that, here comes an events page. Uh, and look, there's a diary of things here. So the 9th of January, which is today, snowed in. Um, well, it was uh, not snowing the last time I looked. Let's see what that is. Oh, it's a diabetes campaign uh, um, program. That's fine, but it's not actually what I'm looking for. However, if we look at the top of the page, I can now see there are three RSS feeds associated with this page. So there's the things to do in Birmingham feed, and if I subscribe to that, it will give me constant updates. I can subscribe to the comments feed, which is I can see the the responses that public have made to these things. And there's a particular Hall Green comments page that I can subscribe to. Um, but that's not what I'm looking for, so let's go back. None of those feeds exist on this page, which again, is, a, as I said, is a real shame. So let's have a, a little look down here. Dates of district committee meetings can be found on the democracy pages. So, OK, let's have a look at that. Here is our democracy page. Now, there's no, uh, this isn't a, a dedicated page for Hall Green, which you kind of might expect. It's a generic database. So let's have a look. Uh, meeting body type, district current, I suppose. Hall Green District Committee. I've got to put the dates in. Uh, 14. So let's go up to March. Yeah, 31st of March. 2014. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because I know that um, each district committee will meet six times during the year, so that might capture a few meetings. Oh, go. Well, there's one meeting scheduled at the moment, which is um, a meeting on the 21st of January, Hall Green District Committee. Now, I do know that the meeting dates for this year have been set because I've seen them on a previous occasion. The problem is I can't find that list again, but it's not showing up here. So maybe the, maybe this is the only um, uh, meeting date that's been set for the first quarter of the year. So let's click on Hall Green District Committee and see what that brings us. OK, so there is a meeting on the 21st of January, but there are no documents available at the moment and no gender items either. So and that's not particularly helpful to me. So. If I'm interested in a particular community service, or if I'm interested in a campaign, the work of my councillors or so on, that doesn't help very much. So um, let's just go back again. So uh, I tell you what, let's have a look at the last meeting. So if I go back to meetings, district current, or I think it's still district current. Hall Green District Committee, put in the dates. Let's have a look at last year's. So 01, 01, 2013 to 31, 12, 2013. Let's have a look. Okay, so there are the items for the Hall Green District Committee. And there was a meeting on the 19th of November. So I'll have a quick look at that. Here you can see um, the papers for that meeting. So I can see the agenda, I can see the report items and so on. And there's three pages of reports here. If I download the agenda, I can see here that the minutes of the last meeting were uh, confirmed and signed. Now that might give me a clue about the workload of the committee or some of the things that uh, were going on. So let's just have a look here back. Um, there's no minutes there, so let's go on to the second page. No minutes there. No minutes there. So um, what we have is um, 
simply the agenda for the last meeting in November. So if I if I click on one of these um, items here, whole green financial performance report, um, I can actually download that and click on download. Um, and it should appear. Here it is. Ah. Um, so I need to rotate that. Uh, there we go. So there's the uh, report. Um, but of course, it doesn't give me any indication of the debate that was had about these issues or any decisions that were made. Uh, and the same is true of all the other reports. So it's kind of the report as was presented at the meeting, but it doesn't have the um, decision uh, discussion points noted. But worse than that, in a way, it doesn't have, if, oh, yeah, I've lost it, uh, it doesn't actually have the minutes of the last meeting. So um, there was a meeting in September, but the action points or the minutes of that aren't listed on here either. So you can see it's very difficult to follow the work of the district committee. There's no button to take me back to the Hall Green page, so I'm just going to have to keep clicking my back button until I get back to Hall Green. So oh, blimey, is here we are. So the amount of information there is quite limited. Now I do know that um, uh, Birmingham have started to. Uh, webcast their meetings, including district committee meetings. Uh, and this was seen to be important because over the last two years the district committees have been meeting in the council house and meeting during the daytime. So it's maybe not very easy for people interested in local issues to actually go along and see the committee in action, um, particularly if they're working during the day or they've got mobility problems. So the webcasts were designed to um, allow citizens to see uh, what was going on. And these webcasts are archived. So let's see if we can find uh, any reference to these here on the Hall Green portal page. No. Uh, no, no. Useful links, benefits, uh, cemeteries. Um, no. No. So there's no, there's no link there at all. So, um, okay, let's use the City Council search facility. So let me search for uh, Hall Green District Committee webcast. Democracy in Birmingham. So it's given me a hit. I click on that. Ah, no. That's just taking us to a. Uh, uh, again, a report of uh, descriptive text. There is a link here, Democracy in Birmingham video, so let's click on that. Uh, and we have some videos here. These are YouTube videos of the, the council in op operation. Um, but it does say here, these videos were made in produced in 2009. So they may be useful for people wanting to do an education project on how the council works or so on, but they're not... They're not the contemporary links, uh, videos that I'm looking for. So let's put in here uh, Hall Green District Committee uh, Live Casting. I've sometimes seen it called, I think. Put that in there. No, it's just bringing me back to the same page. So I, I really can't find this archive of uh, material at all. Now this is important for me because uh, because there are no minutes of these meetings on there but if I can look at the archive I can at least see the debate that's been happened and I can understand if decisions were taken and I can find out what those decisions make, decisions were but um, not from the uh, local pages. So let's let's do something else. Let's go to Google, good old Google. Put in Birmingham, Birmingham City Council webcasting and here we have Birmingham City Council webcasting homepage so good old Google can find it for me but Birmingham's website can't 
Um, and indeed, this looks like an external site. I think this is probably the site of the contractor who provides the service. So anyway, here we are. Here is uh, welcome to the streaming portal. What's going on today uh, on the right hand side? And to view the archive, click here. So I'll click on the archive. And here we have a tag cloud on the right. Now, this is exactly the kind of uh, service that should be offered on the main site. So I can see here the districts in very prominent. So if I click on districts, here we are. Here's a list of district committees. Hall Green District Committee, 19th of November 2013. So that's it. So if I click on that, um, here is the archive of the district committee. Fabulous. This is what I want. Uh, there we can see the, cons the committee getting together. Uh, I've muted the sound there. Uh, and on the right hand side here, you can see the timeline of this co the, uh, the meeting. So you, in a sense, you've got a video minute here. So Hall Green Revenue Budget Monitoring. So I can click on that and it should download the report for me. Ah, oh, an error was encountered. Never mind, but I can I can see that portion of the debate if I want to. I can click to that and see it. Uh, I can see that one of my councillors, Victoria Quinn here, made a contribution at this point. So if I click on that, uh, no, that doesn't quite take me to where I wanted to go. So let's go back. Ah, okay, back to Hall Green District again. So um, if I click on the timeline, I think there, yeah, if I click on the timeline, it'll take me to Victoria Quinn's contribution. And I can follow that. So let's have a look at another agenda item. Here we are, community safety update. See if I can download this report. Yep, there's the report. Uh, and I can see the report as it was presented to the councillors. It doesn't tell me um, about the discussion they had or any decisions they made, but I can actually follow this on the web stream. So this is a very useful service um, that exists for um, all of these meetings. But if I go back to the Democracy in Birmingham page here, oh, I've lost, I've lost Hall Green again. Let me just quickly flick back through these pages because there's no direct link. Here we are, Hall Green page. There's no link to that from this Hall Green page at all. So it's really making finding out information difficult. It's making it very difficult to learn of the work that the councils are doing in our district, to understand the decisions that they're taking and so on and so on. Now, I don't know about you, but I just don't think that's good enough in 2014. So I look at this and I think, well, there's no news item here. There's no even simple technological solution like an RSS feed or an email list that will allow me to subscribe to something. The only way I can find out about developments in Hall Green District is to keep coming back physically to this page in the hope that something has changed. In fact, actually, this page is not much use to me. I've got to go back to that database and see if any papers or uh, agendas have been added to uh, that listing for the meeting at the end of January. So really, this is quite poor. And I've got two kind of responses to it. The first is a kind of conspiracy theory response, and we're big on conspiracy theories in Spartanburg. Uh, which would be, you know, well, maybe they just don't want us to know what's going on. I mean, maybe they put the stuff there, but they, they just make it really difficult for us to find out what's happening so that they just don't know what we're doing. Now, I think that would be very unfair, and I, I don't go for conspiracy theories. But the only other response I can have is just somehow that this district committee system just isn't important enough for anybody either to do that front-end investment on the information services or for somebody to just put up some newsy chatty updates from time to time. What's particularly galling about this is that Birmingham City Council, through its service Birmingham vehicle, has invested millions of pounds in recent years on the transformation of its business services with a heavy focus on information technology. And so, kind of, I would expect this portal page to be designed from the... Uh, perspective of the citizen 
the resident uh, or the service user. And as we can see, it's not at all. So Birmingham City Council, really, in 2014, this isn't good enough. You should be making it easier for, for us to keep tabs on what you're doing. You should be using very simple, cheap technology to push information to us rather than allowing us to have to search through this website uh, in the way that I've just done. Now, I guess if you work for the council or you use this site very, very regularly, you, you get to know its quirks and find it your way around it. But I don't. I use it a couple of times a month, probably, and uh, uh, I'm always having to learn from scratch again. Kind of no information is there, but it's often very difficult to find it. So I just really don't think that's good enough. So come on, Birmingham City Council. You can do better than this. If anybody wants to email me or talk to me about this, you can contact me at andy.howell, that's andy.howell, H-O-W-E-L-L, -L, at me, dot -E com. Uh, and if there's anybody from Birmingham City Council's IT divisions or district committee divisions watching this, really would love to hear about you. You can do better than this. Thanks for watching.